Hi again, everyone. Um, back at you here with another pickups video. The first thing that I want to show you uh, is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS. Pick this bad boy up. Uh, but when I went to GameStop, what happened was I pre ordered this so that I could get the uh, bonus Zelda poster when it came out. Because here in the States, uh, that's what we were supposed to get with a pre order. Turns out GameStop was not taking part of that, or at least none of the GameStops that are around me. Um, so to make up for it, they gave me this bad boy. Pretty cool. Um, other than that, to move on, let's see here. I stopped at a, um, a local store and I saw this. It's a DS Lite um, skin and three pack of stylus. It's a Crayola set. Um, I don't really care about the uh, the skin, but I really I really like to collect little Crayola items. So I thought that these Silas were pretty neat. So got that. Um, it was on sale, but not like a great sale. I went to a Goodwill also um, last weekend, and I picked up a bunch of NES games. They were Mark three dollars, but they gave them to me for ninety nine cents. Uh, they're not, you know, real, real goodies. Um, and, unless I'm wrong, I mean, you can tell me which ones you think are, are your favorite or which ones you would go for first. So to get to it, I'm gonna try to move fast here. The first one is Star Soldier, and let's see, Gunsmoke. I don't know if you can see these real well. I know there's a little bit of a reflection there. Uh, tennis, Ghostbusters 2. This one looked kind of neat to me. It's a uh, Cobra Command. It says here um, arcade hit, so I'm assuming that um, that was an arcade game. Bases Loaded 2, which I already have, but I figured, you know, if somebody wants it for their collection, uh, we can trade. There's also, let's see, Dark Man. I have no idea what this one's about. Silver Surfer. Uh, Little League Baseball Championship Series. So, uh, Top Gun, which is also another double for me. Uh, this one I heard is kind of fun. Ninja Gaiden. So. I don't know, it looks kind of fuzzy when I show you. So, uh, this one here, which is pretty funny for anybody that's seen uh, some of those game link videos. Uh, track and field, too. I have some some time to be. I guess uh, the Gebsters24 ha had a time that she told me um, that I need to try and beat her on. So, got to get to that. Ultimate basketball. And I heard this one's pretty good, or at least out of the bunch anyway. Uh, 1943, The Battle of Midway, which is a Cap Capcom game. I tend to like Capcom uh, type games. So we did. We picked up these. My daughter found them at uh, GameStop when we were actually there to pick up Zelda. So we have uh, Donkey Konga. That's the first one. As you can see, $3.99. Um, $5.99 for Donkey Konga 2. And these do come, they are complete, which I'm surprised, because uh, in GameStop you don't always get that lucky. Uh, so it has the, the manual and the uh, little CD. And also, since it was buy two pre-owned games, get one free, we also bought, I think this one was the most out of all of them, not sure, uh, price, rate, <clears throat> price range, but Crazy Taxi? So I, I see these on some of the videos out there that you guys do, um, some crazy taxi ones. It seems like everybody's always happy with them. So, I'll, you know, check it out. It's worth a shot. I believe this one is complete also. Yeah. There we go. So I want to try that one and see what I've been missing all this time. I also stopped at a place... Um, here in Philadelphia, we have a place called Five Below. If any of you guys have them out there, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but everything there is $5 and under. So they had some games there. 
actually quite a few games, but this is what I picked up while we were there, and I, I got these games for $5 a piece. It's uh, Local Roco 2. You can see that without the reflection. Um, Ape Escape on the Loose for the PSP. And yes, I know it's Greatest Hits. A lot of people don't like that whole um, red label at the top. Honest to God, I don't care. I kind of like them, to tell you the truth. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. So, And uh, for the PSP, Pixel Junks, Monster, Monsters Deluxe. Seen this game um, quite a few times out and about, and it always looks interesting to me, but I just never wanted to pay the price for it. But for five dollars, who the hell can go wrong? And for PlayStation Two, another uh, greatest hits edition. Uh, Jacks and Dexter, Jack and Dexter, however you say it. Yeah, the Precursor Legacy. So anyway, and try these out. And while I was there, I also picked up some other stuff. They had a um, Nintendo DS carrying case slash stylus keychain. Basically. What you can do is put two DS games in it. I thought it was pretty cool. It even has the, um, the little dual screen symbol right there. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but uh, I thought that was pretty neat, except for the damn pink. I really um, would rather have had like the white one or the red one. See, on the back there, it had other ones. But this was the only one there that they had, so I figured with the help, grab it. I also bought a bunch of these little guys. These little uh, gacha or whoever you pronounce it, balls. Um, quite a few. They even had some Zelda Phantom Hourglass ones. These are kind of weird. They're more of a, like a egg type shape instead of completely round like these guys. So they have like a, a flatter bottom. So I got a whole bunch of them. I got um, let's see. This one's Mario Kart DS. This one another is another one that has like a flat bottom. Also got one of these bad boys. I just like little tchotchke type, you know, things like this that come with candy in them. Uh, usually just my kids eat the candy. Uh, and I just like to have these with my game, so. Uh, what else did I get? I mean, I, I honestly have, like, a bag here of these things. Let me see if I can show you. Also got one of these, little stars. But let's see. see, here's like the bag full of, it's even, you know, busting out. Of course, I, I do like Legos too, so I got a little bit of these Lego minifigures. Don't know if you gamers care about that or the, um, like, the little Marvel guys. I like these kinds of things. Uh, it's outrageous what I spent on these things, though. I mean, here's some Super Mario Galaxy ones. Let's, what do you say we open some of these and see what's inside? The first one, we'll do like a, a Super Mario Galaxy one. Let's see what's in here. All right. And it looks like it's one of the princesses. So they come in these little bags for any of you who haven't bought them. And Typically what happens is you have to put them together. So, I mean, cause look at this, isn't that weird? Open it up and it's like she's beheaded. <laughs> so, so anyway, here's, here's the rest of it. Put that together later. Uh, let's see what's in another one. Let's open a, uh, the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. There we go. All right. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Let me open this guy up. Really like this one. So, check that out that in front of the camera here and it comes with a little little heart keeper so I like that anyway um, on to the next one I don't want to bore you guys too much here we'll do uh, the Mario Kart for the DS 
feel like I have a piece of hair in front of my face. Very annoying. And I can't get this guy open, even where it's perforated. All right, here we go. Let's see what's in here. God knows what I'm going to do with all these little plastic thingies after. I have tons of them around here. Awesome! It's Luigi. I love Luigi. So, open this guy up. And these, if I'm correct, yeah, you can race them. These are one of these little guys that you can pull back and then it, it goes. So, it's Luigi. Awesome. And there's little stickers to put on there. So you can put him together. And we'll open one of these. Mario Kart Pullback Racer. So another racer. But this one is from Mario Kart Wii, it says. So. Damn. Okay. Yoshi. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better one. I really like Yoshi. Really, really do. He's one of my favorites, too. So, here he is. Cool. I like him. And, of course, he comes with some stickers. So we can uh, pimp, pimp out his car. All right. So I think... I think that's it. I mean, of course I have more of them, but it should be it of the series I bought. Let's see. You know what? Screw it. Let's just open one more. One more from Mario Galaxy. Wow. This one's a biggie. It's a lot bigger than the, uh, the princess that we got. But it's it's Bowser. So let's put him together. Here we go. Finished product. There's Bowser. So anyway, uh, that's it for my uh, pickups today. I can't wait to uh, open the rest of of these little guys up. Thanks for watching, and I will. Uh, see you next time.